Okay, this is the third time I've done this video, and I just wanted to do an information video about my little car. Okay, let's see if I can turn it like that. You can see it a little better. Okay, I built this car. I bought the engine. Um, it's a 1949 uh, Ford inline-six. I bu bought the engine in 2017. It took me about three years to collect everything, and uh, this is what I built. Uh, I wanted a motorcycle. I wanted a flathead Harley, but I couldn't, so I got a flathead Ford. Okay, but just wanted to show you some of the features of it. It's kind of cool. It doesn't look like much, but it's kind of cool. Um, first, I put a, a 12 volt Mopar. I think it's a 60 amp. I got it off of eBay, and I had to really monkey around with it. You can see it's a it's a double pulley here. So I, what I do is I have uh, I can adjust this and I can adjust that. So I'm adjusting two belts at once. Uh, works pretty good. Uh, solid motor mounts, and I put a little leather gasket back here. And because it's a six, and not a very powerful six, you know, 90 horsepower, um, which is the same as a V8, by the way, flathead, unless you unless you start breathing on it. But um, it's very smooth, uh, even without uh, motor mounts, you know, rubber motor mounts. Uh, I put a, a Dodge Barracuda. Uh, steering box in and that allowed me to run the uh, pitman arm down instead of up and that let me put this hot rod style drag link and I made the drag link out of some scrap and, and a piece of the Ford I don't know what I use with maybe a, uh, I don't know what some kind of linkage from the Ford and I used heim joints seemed to be good pretty solid okay um, Anyway, that's that's it. I got a little Uga horn. I do a lot of things off of eBay. That that radiator was off of eBay. It was $120. I had a pinhole. I brought it to a guy who he said, "Yeah, I could fix it." Then he wanted to charge me $250. I said, "I would have junked it." Okay. Uh, so he, he told me to give him 50 bucks and to get out. So that's what I did. I made this firewall just basically to hang stuff off of. Okay. And uh, it's as you can see, it's. It's not really a firewall, it's a, it's a screen. So if I catch fire, I'll be in trouble. This thing, this whole Rube Goldberg thing is for the, uh, just for the throttle linkage. Uh, single barrel carburetor. This is my, this thing holds the, the radiator. This, uh, this, this uh, grill is off of tractor. I don't know what kind of tractor. And these are just running lights. And I just ride it, I just drive the thing in the daytime and uh, nobody seems to, to care one way or the other uh, you know this is a, a dodge truck frame okay because i didn't want to mess with the uh, wishbones and all that stuff i had all this stuff i got rid of it um, i didn't want to mess around with it um, made the made the footrest a la motorcycle used dodge uh the dodge brake and uh, clutch uh cluster and a dodge uh, dodge style uh, single bowl uh, master cylinder made all this uh, used the tractor wheel uh, you know, a nice uh, steering knob this is a BMW uh, parking brake this is my custom uh, cockpit that's a motorcycle seat that I repurposed and that's a John Deere tractor seat I guess if I was worried about how it looked, I'd clean that up, but I'm not worried about it. So any, anyway, I, re, I uh, braced this thing. I got a heim joint here, kind of keeps it from shaking. Um, Mustang, I, I, Mustang clutch cable uh, runs under the seat and then comes back. You can see it right there. And then it, it goes into the, the bell housing right where it's supposed to. And I didn't want to mon monkey around with the, uh, you know the the solid linkage uh, I had uh, you know I just didn't think that I I could get that to work so I, I said let me use a clutch cable and it worked good you know just like a motorcycle as you can see it's an open concept <laughs> I, I moved the taillights I had them hanging off of the rear of the frame but I I bobbed the frame I just there was an extension about eight inches for the bumper and I just cut it and I just want it to look a little a little bit more like a you know, like a hot rod kind of thing. I think it, I don't know, I like it. Anyway, and uh, 
you notice there's, it's not much utility. I used to have a wooden bed here, but I'm not going to carry anything with it. Made my own custom tailpipe setup. This is a Dana 44. Uh, I rebuilt everything but the pumpkin. I just cleaned up the pumpkin as best as I could. You know, that putting that, uh, setting that pinion uh, angle and all that stuff, not the pinion angle, but the pinion mesh. I think that's a little uh, past my pay grade and I didn't want to pay a guy 500 bucks to do it. Okay. Um, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what they are, truck wheels, I don't know, whatever it is. Um, here's my uh, instrument cluster, excuse me, my controls, uh, ignition, uh, high uh, lights, high low. This thing is a, a is an exhaust fan that I got wired up. I just put it on when when I parked the thing after after a run. You can hear it, and uh, I just I didn't want to tie it to a thermostat because I didn't want to mess around with it. I just want it. It runs pretty cool. It usually runs somewhere around 180 degrees, uh, but when you park it, it'll get up over in that 200 degree mark, and I didn't think that was a good idea. Got an electric tack. I got a, a battery. Uh, you know, it's a just a, a voltmeter. I used to have more stuff. Like I said, I had a vacuum gauge, but I took the vacuum gauge off. Okay, I took the vacuum gauge off, and I instead put this thing on, which I think has really helped me. Okay, um, if you can see it, it's a, it's a positive crankcase ventilation valve. And I read that, uh, you know, there used to be a tube that, that went down, it was just an open tube, and it, it uh, ventilated the crankcase. But I read that, that the uh, PCV valves were developed World War II for uh, Jeeps and what have you, they had to run in high water, and uh, the, the uh, open tube would, the road tube would suck up water, so they had to have this thing. So I said, well, geez, if it's good enough for the Army, it's good enough for me, okay? Here's my, here's my handy dandy choke system, okay? All I do is I go over here and I flip the choke, full choke. I crank it a couple of times uh, with, that, with the ignition off. Then I put it on about half choke and uh, start it. And then once I get it running pretty decent, I just pull a spring, hook it. It's a little piece of wire and, uh, you know, it works good. Here's my uh, expansion bottle. That's Angel's Envy. That's about 90 bucks a bottle. I enjoyed the, 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 the booze and the, the bottle was so nice I just decided to keep it and there we go. It doesn't spill, uh, doesn't spill coolant all over the, the driveway. This thing is a, is a steering dampener. Okay, uh, guy was selling it on Craigslist. I just sort of welded it together clear you know it all worked out it worked out pretty good and i don't know if it helps but it looks cool if anybody would crawl under there to look at it and you know i just i drive it around you know i just had these surgeries so i haven't driven it much uh in, in two months i yesterday i went and just took it for a ride started the thing up and it started right up uh you know it's it's fun thing fun thing to have I'm a flathead. I, I love flatheads. Don't ask me why. I just do. But I didn't want the V8 because I didn't want to worry about cracked blocks. This thing is this is like the old Dodges. Uh, solid piece of machinery. I didn't even know that they made straight six Ford flatheads, but they do. And uh, this is my favorite view when I'm going down the road. I look at that uh, that bank of uh, spark plugs and I'm like hmm somebody figured out how to make this thing run I don't know how they did okay I got to do some work on it um, you know I got, the brakes need to be adjusted right now I went for a ride yesterday and the brakes were more of a suggestion uh, this is the fuel cell so so cool fuel cell five gallons and uh, that's my little buggy okay I call it the sloppy jalopy but it's fun it's a fun little rig and I just thought you guys might enjoy seeing it.